In this video, I'm going to show you why Cover 6 is my favorite coverage in Madden, or at least one of the coverages that you can do the most with in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest strategies and tips that we release every single day here on YouTube, trying to help people get better at the game. Now, Cover 6 is a matching defense, and it's a defense that I think has a lot of versatility because it has different checks and reads between what the match or uh, what the patterns are. But the other thing that I like about Cover 6 and why I wanted to talk about it in this video is because there's something that I ta I've talked about it before here on the channel, um, but I, I think some people may have missed it. I've been just kind of seeing some defenses and stuff like that, and I just wanted to talk about this concept specifically against trips tight end or gun tray and how this is one of the best defenses in the game for defending this formation gun trips tight end or gun tray is arguably um, in my opinion one of the most diverse offices gives you opportunities to do a lot of different things but we're going to show you in this video how you can use cover six uh, to be able to lock down a lot of the trips tight end offense now i'm going to come out and uh, go ahead and just set some audibles here just some different coverages uh, so that I can have some arsenal here to be able to explain things. But we're going to be coming out in nickel normal cover six. Now, why do I like nickel normal? I like nickel normal for a lot of different reasons. One of the main reasons I like it is because it gives you access to all of the match coverages. You can have palms, you can have quarters, you can have cover nine, cover six, cover six invert, cover three match, and cover three buzz match week, which is found in the San Francisco 49ers defensive playbook. And if you want to get access to my full nickel normal ebook where we break down what all of these matching coverages do, including cover three match, in addition to that, show you um, and some insane pressure that you can get out of nickel normal. I think it's one of the best blitzing defenses that nobody uses. Um, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon. By joining the Patreon for just $10 a month, it unlocks everything over there. So you don't only get the nickel normal defense, but you'll get all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. Worked really hard this year to be able to provide you guys with a diverse amount of content, but at the same time, keeping high level of quality. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, there's a link in the description where you can head over to the membership and get all of that content. Now, we're talking today about nickel normal cover six. And what cover six is, is it is quarter, quarter, half. This is uh, the basics of what the concept is. Uh, Madden, honestly, the, the true cover six is actually a cover. Depends on uh, terminology and things like that. But the true cover six is actually a cover three coverage. Madden calls cover six quarter, quarter, half, uh, which is basically what it is. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this defense, though, is because of a specific thing that you're going to see in a quarters coverage. So if you're in three, three, five wide, the cover four defense that you have in that package is the cover four quarters. And this is one of the most popular route combinations in trips tight end. And if they run this route combination, I want you to watch what happens to the tight end. You're going to see that the tight end is going to get matched by the three wreck over here on this side. Now, I will say that that is relatively inconsistent, meaning it doesn't always happen. I'll show that again um, from Nickel Normal. We'll run this a couple of different times, and then we'll show it to you from um, different sides of the field. It does change, but you'll see a lot of times that this this uh, three wreck, it's actually matching really well to the Nickel Normal. But out of 335 wide in particular, it really doesn't do that good of a job. And if you come over here to also, you have to understand in 335 wide, that's going to be your user. OK, that's another issue with this defense. OK, so now again, I'm going to audible over to cover four quarters. And what you should see is if you look at this three wreck, you'll see again, see how he comes off of it and kind of glitches out and the tight end post is wide open. Where cover six really has a lot of value is it is the same um, basic concept in terms of a match coverage, uh, but a couple of small and subtle differences. And the major one is the responsibility of this three rec hook defender. Okay, so this three rec hook defender, what you'll notice within the coverage is if you are were to man align your defense, what you're going to notice is that the three rec hook defender is going to become this cornerback over here on the left, which means that this guy. Um, is going to be the vert the vert hook okay so what i like to do is man align and then kind of set up a pressure look like this this looks very good in terms of a pressure style approach to defense now the cool part about this linebacker if you take a look at the adjustments he's going to be able to get he's going to get a middle third adjustment mid read all of the middle linebacker adjustments we like so i could in theory put him in a curl flat if I wanted to, I actually typically do put him in a curl flat. The reason why is just because it's going to do a really good job of defending anything to the flat on the right side of the screen. And then this guy right here, you can leave him in this deep half, and then you're going to kind of be usering right in here. 
But what I want to really focus on in this video is what you're going to notice from the three rec hook defender um, from that corner. What you're going to see with this is he is going to literally match stride for stride the tight end all the way across and not come off his man. As you can see there, he really takes that concept away. And what that allows us to do defensively is it allows us to turn our focus or turn our attention to the number three receiver to the number three receiver on the field. Now, the other thing that I wanted to go over with this is another thing with this. So whenever you have a coverage like cover six or cover four quarters, when you make adjustments, it kind of embeds the adjustments that you make into the matching concept. So for example, if I were to take Jackson and I were to put him into a man coverage assignment on the number three receiver, now there's no three red hook defender. So there's no defender on the field that is designated to guarding the tight end. But what we can do with this is we can go ahead and take Judon and put him in a bluff blitz assignment. And what you're going to see is he is going to now be in a three rec hook zone. And what I want to highlight here is that even though it's a bluff blitz three rec hook or a hot routed three rec hook, um, what you'll see is he will actually typically lurk the tight end. And of course, as soon as I say that he doesn't, it might be because I manned that guy up. Let me show it to you again. This time we won't base a line. We'll just come out. So if we just blitz our user but typically he will go to the tight end. So we're just blitzing our user here. And there you see, there you see it. Okay, so he goes to the tight end. And now this throw right here is very difficult to make. So with a defensive end, you can bag trips tight ends, tight end crosser, which is really interesting to me. Um, because one of the things that I want to quickly point out about this and why match coverage over man coverage, why do I like match coverage in certain situations um, as opposed to man coverage? If I were to take Judon and put him in man coverage on the tight end, one of the things you're going to notice is that the man coverage is going to be a step behind. Um, it actually plays ridiculously good there, but typically the man coverage is going to get beat across its face, and that's one of the main reasons why I really do love this defense. So another way that we could kind of set this up if you wanted to kind of, again, have a little bit of a multiplicity in your front and a little bit more of multiplicity in your defense is we could bluff blitz Judon. And now what we can do with this guy is he's in perfect position to play man coverage on that defender. And then we could maybe uh, slide this guy in off the edge if we wanted to kind of mimic some pressure. And then what you should see here is kind of a really nice little coverage. And that three red hook goes right to him all the way across the formation. And this concept that is really, really hard to guard is now completely boxed. So this is some of the basic principles that cover six allows you to do. And why this is important, um, why this is important for the defense is because what we want to be able to do with our defense is we want to be able to take away the primary things that people do. So in this formation, one of the primary things that people do is they throw to the number three receiver and they throw to the tight end post. Well, if you have a concept like this, you'll see that this plays really, really well. And it, 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 it you're going to force them to have to work here on this crosser. If you got a good press man guy, that can be a really difficult proposition. So this is one of the many reasons why I think cover six is one of the most complete defenses because whenever you're facing trip sets, it's going to play the trip set differently than it's going to play the twin set. We explained that in the ebook, but you kind of get the best of both worlds with this coverage. And I really believe that this defense is one of the keys to playing great defense this year. So I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my full uh, nickel normal defensive guide, be sure to join our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month. You get access to everything over there, all the updates to all the ebooks as well. We've got some new ebooks we're going to be dropping over the course of the next week or so. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below and you can sign up for just 10 bucks a month, get you access to everything. So head on down to the description and click the link to check out the Patreon.